A recharge from zero to full in 10 minutes. A trip of 500 kilometers on one charge. The solid state battery being introduced by Toyota promises to be a game changer, not just for electric vehicles, but for an entire industry. Today, we will unveil Toyota's new solid state battery for 2021. Welcome to Tech Archives. Solid state versus lithium ion. Toyota's new solid-state battery technology is a potential cure-all for the drawbacks facing electric vehicles that run on conventional lithium-ion batteries, including the relatively short distance traveled on a single charge as well as charging times. Toyota plans to be the first company to sell an electric vehicle equipped with a solid-state battery. The world's largest automaker will unveil a prototype this year. The electric vehicles being developed by Toyota will have a range of more than twice the distance of a vehicle running on a conventional lithium-ion battery under the same conditions, all accomplished without sacrificing interior space and even the most compact vehicle. Solid-state batteries are expected to become a viable alternative to lithium-ion batteries that use aqueous electrolyte solutions. The innovation would lower the risk of fires and multiply energy density, which measures the energy a battery can deliver compared to its weight. It would take roughly 10 minutes to charge an electric vehicle equipped with a solid state battery, cutting the recharge time by two thirds. The battery can extend the driving distance of a compact electric vehicle while maintaining legroom. Toyota stands at the top of the global heap with over 1,000 patents involving solid state batteries. Nissan Motor plans to develop its own solid state battery, which will power a non-simulation vehicle by 2028. How solid state batteries work. Much the same way as a normal battery, the flow of ions trigger a chemical reaction between the battery's materials called redox, where, when discharging power, oxidation occurs at the anodes to create compounds with free electrons, which deliver electric energy and reduction at the cathode, which sees compounds gain electrons and thus store power. When a battery is charged, the process is reversed. Much like lithium ion batteries, when delivering power in solid state batteries, aka discharging, positively charged ions travel through the electrolyte from the negative electrode, anode, to the positive one, cathode. This leads to a buildup of positive charge in the cathode, which attracts electrons from the anode. But as the electrons can't travel through the electrolyte, they have to travel across a circuit and thus deliver power to whatever it's connected to, say an electric motor. During charging, the opposite happens with ions flowing to the anode, building up a charge that sees electrons pull to it across a circuit from the cathode. When no more ions will flow to the negative electrode, the battery is considered fully charged. Drawbacks to solid state batteries. You might wonder why solid state batteries aren't being used in EVs, given they seem to be the solution to the problems in lithium ion batteries. But the challenge with solid state batteries is that they are very difficult to manufacture at scale. Not only are they currently too expensive to be pushed out into commercial use, there's still a lot of work to be done to make them ready for mass market use. At the moment, there's still a need to find the right atomic and chemical composition for a solid electrolyte that has the right ionic conductivity to deliver enough power for an EV motor. Getting the solid electrolyte right is particularly important as it's the precursor to allowing the use of lithium anodes, which can produce more lithium ions and thereby more energy. A solid state electrode is thought to be the solution to the problem of damaging needle-like structures called dendrites forming on the anode as it charges. Government subsidiaries and manufacturing. Toyota has the Japanese government behind them. Japan is assembling a 2 trillion yen fund around $19 billion to support decarbonization technology, a significant part of which will be used to support the development of solid state batteries, particularly the procurement of lithium, of which global reserves are finite. The Japan-based company's new solid state technology has caused ripples in the Japanese economy. At least two major Japanese mining and oil companies, Mitsui Kenzoku and Itamitsu Kosan, are building infrastructure to produce solid electrolyte. Japanese auto materials makers are rushing to set up the necessary infrastructure to supply automakers. Mitsui Mining and Smelting will start up a pilot facility that will make solid electrolytes for the batteries. The production site, located at a research and development center in Saitama Prefecture, will be able to produce dozens of tons of solid electrolyte annually starting this year, enough to fulfill orders for prototypes. 
oil company Itamitsu Kosan is installing solid electrolyte production equipment at its Chiba Prefecture site with the aim of beginning operation next year. Manufacturing solid electrolytes requires solidifying sulfides, which is a specialty of the metal and chemical industry. Japanese manufacturers like Sony and Panasonic have been pioneers in commercializing battery cells for vehicles, but since the late 2000s, Chinese rivals have emerged to prominence. Contemporary Amperex Technology Company is now the world's largest supplier of lithium-ion batteries. Electric vehicles are anticipated to become commonplace amid the global shift away from carbon. The Japanese government has been encouraging the domestic development of solid-state batteries under the outlook that most of the technology relating to automotive performance will depend on China if the status quo holds. The goal is to support the development of a mass production infrastructure within Japan. Because solid-state batteries use lithium, an element with limited global reserves, the government will assist in gathering the material. Japan is hoping early advancements in solid-state technology will give it the lead in battery production over other countries. The global market for next-generation batteries is expected to grow from 39 million this year to 25.2 billion in 2035. The race to develop a solid-state battery for electric vehicles is on, and if Toyota's plans to produce a running prototype in 2021 come to fruition, then we could very well be looking at the dominant automotive technology of the future within the next year. If you love the content we provide, please leave a like and subscribe to support our mission to educate the masses about all things tech.